Hola amigos, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I um, today I'm gonna be doing something. Um, well, it's not. It's a little bit different from what I usually do, but I thought you know why not give it a try since um, <clears throat> excuse me um, well, I just I thought I just well I decided that since um, well. Virtual zoo and aquarium tours seem to be um, a, a p very common thing right now, so I decided um, I'd kind of do my own in Minecraft with my own um, with my own zoo that I built. Yeah, giving a little tour of of my zoo that I built. So um, yeah, um, it's um, it's not, it's it's not really um. It's not really complete yet, but it's, um, but it mostly is done. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna show you around, basically, and, um, yeah, see how you guys feel. And I might also ask you guys questions, so, um, yeah, you guys can also answer them in, in the comments below. Also, um, also, if you like this video and you want me to do more videos like this, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below. Also hitting that subscribe button and then hitting my hit and then hitting the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. But anyways, yeah. Let's let's take a, a zoo tour. Yeah. This I guess um I guess this is my tropical desert zoo, I guess. Yeah. And um we got this nice entrance, like some trees that I planted because um yeah, this this is a fl because as you can tell, as you guys can probably tell, this is a flat world that I'm in. And yeah, so, and here's the zoom map as well. Here's the map of the zoo. Like, yeah, the entire area is like, we're right here, right now, right in that spot. Yeah, um, and this basically, well, I mean, it doesn't really show us around, but it just, uh, Shows us the different locations and what everything looks like from the sky, kind of. Uh, yeah. And also, um, this area right here is, um, why I, um, is another real reason why I wanted to do this video. Because I wanted to, like, because I haven't been able to figure out what to do with this area yet. Like, um, like, should I just do, like, what I did over here and plant trees in that area? Or should I just do, um, should I do something else with that? Um. Yeah, you guys, um, yeah, I need you guys, I need you guys' help in the comments to help me figure out what to do with that area. Also, yeah, and another question as well, if you want me to add, like, um, a hostile mobs, um, part of the zoo, um, let me know in the comments down below as well, because, um, at the moment it's just non-hostile mobs living at this zoo. <laughs> yeah, so, over here we got... The petting zoo, um, kind of funny that I put petting zoo because, um, you don't, you can't actually pet anything in here. But it's, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like basic farm animals, which is why I put that, really. Yeah. And then here, yeah, here we got the domestic pigs. Yeah. They even got a bit of mud to, to cool themselves off in, in the hot, um, in the hot sun. And, um, in the wide open, too. Eh. And then here we have the domestic horse. Yeah. Wow. What are they, what are they all doing right here? That seems very weird, but yeah. These are the domestic horses. Mm. All different colors. And, um, and a bunch of hay as well over there. And then here we got the domestic cattle. So, yeah. You see, they got a bunch of, um, grass and stuff in their habitat. So they can, um, graze all they want. All they need. And then domestic sheep. They also got, um, there's also a brown one in the mix. Most of them are white, but there's also a brown one over there. And then here we got mules. Yeah. And a kind of a white stallion bronco inside as well. You know what? 
I should probably make that Bronco my pet, you know? Can kind of be like my own Denver Bronco. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like the Denver Broncos have that, um, the horse lady. Yeah, um, most of you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But, um, anyway, here we got house cats. Yeah. Oh, and another thing as well. This zoo, this zoo is one that I've been working on since before I started YouTube. And, um, and, uh, yeah, um, it's, um, yeah. I've been also I've been updating it with um ever since there have been the new mob updates. So yeah. Like like the house cats um being separated from the ocelots. I've got them right here now. I think it kind of had to cut into the rabbit cage <laughs> excuse me, to do that. To if I remember correctly, I think I kinda cut off like half the rabbit cage to make the the house cat cage. And then here we got the domestic chickens. Yeah. We got, um... Actually, this... This is, um... Actually, this is foul. Actually, these are foul. These are, like... These are, uh, like, jungle foul, right? Uh, I... I don't know exactly. But, either way... Oh, uh, yeah, they do also lay a bunch of eggs, as you could probably tell. But anyway, let's move on now. Oh boy, look at the wolves going after this sheep right here. Man, look at them all. But anyway, as I was saying, this is the Arctic Tundra. Here we got the wolves. Look at them. They're going all crazy trying to get after this sheep. <clears throat> yep, even though they may be in, in a zoo, they're still... um. They may be in a zoo, but they're still, um, wild beasts. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the case with zoo animals, by the way. I mean, they may be, um, they may be zoo animals, but they are anything but tame. And, um, our, and then here we got foxes. Yeah. I think it kind of had to cut into the polar bear cage to make this fox cage, if I remember correctly. And then here's the polar bear. Looks like just a loner in here. She she had a cub at one point. What she had a cub at one point. Uh, I guess it must have died somehow. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But she's also got kind of some ice and a little swimming area. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I just ate. So that might I may have some problems because I just I just finished lunch. And then over here we got jungle. We got jungle areas kind of like yeah, kind of. Yeah, he, like here we got the ocelots. Um Yeah. Like you see there they got kind of a nice jungly area, but um there's also a cow in in there as well. That somehow managed to get in there. I s Still don't really know how I think but anyway that's besides the point here we got the llamas yeah very nice indeed and then here we got pandas with the the tall bamboo I think I actually had to cut off like this part of the llama cage to create the panda cage the pandas enclosure yeah and now for the next ones, we have to go indoors. We also have to grab a bottle of night vision. Because, um, uh, because over here, we got, we got the dark side of the jungle. We got, um, Brazilian free-tailed bats in here. Uh, yeah, I know, I spelled, I spelled Brazil wrong. Yeah, but, um. Wow, one's actually flying for once. Usually they're just hanging on the ceiling forever. But they're actually flying. Thanks thanks for doing that for the video, um, Mr. and Mrs. Bat. <laughs> yeah. The Brazilian free-tailed bats. They could have... Actually, no, these are peaceful bats, so they're not vampires. 
they're not vampire bats. But anyway, um, here we also got parrots. Yep. Like you, like you see, they got a nice enclosure in here. But here's the thing. Here we also have the bees, the bee enclosure. Yeah, and you may notice that there are some parrots in there, and, um, well, yeah, I'll explain that. Basically, what happened was, like, um, like, when I first built this, um, the bees had not been, um, uh, added to the game yet, so, um, there, um, so there was not an enclosure for them, and then, um, and then they came in, yeah, I, I, so, and I built this whole thing, I built this whole enclosure for the parrots, but then um, once bees were added, I had nowhere to put the bees, and so I kind of cut off half the of the parrot cage to make the bee cage. Yeah, and there are still some parrots stuck in the bee cage. But um, yeah, but the bees have a hive as well. They also got plenty of flowers and stuff. So yeah. Don't worry, I'm not mistreating them. They got plenty of flowers and stuff to take care of. Alright, now let's exit that. And also, um, over here we got a little splash area. This is like a little children's area, splash area. Swim area, like, where children can play around, have fun, get wet. Kind of like, um, kind of like in real zoos, they... Like those, like those splash areas, those fountains. Yeah. That's kind of what this is. And then over here, this one's, um, this I actually just made a ma made some renovations to just yesterday. Uh, actually today. Not even yesterday, it was today. This is the aquarium. And so, yeah. Here's the really big renovation here. We got the bottlenose dolphins here. Yeah, they, um, yeah, I had some, I, I had them in a small, like, the enclosure used to be smaller, but, um, because the dolphins kept dying, I, um, I kept expanding the enclosure. And, and I think I may have made it, um, pretty big, to be honest, um. At least I have some lighting in there so that we can see all the dolphins. You know. <coughs> uh. Anyway, and, he and here we have the leatherback sea turtle. So yeah. There's some lying still there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, lying still there with their bubble butt problems. Yeah, if you've ever seen... um. If you ever heard about like injured sea turtles, some um, and aquariums having bubble butt, you get what I mean by that. Anyway, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, there seems to be um, like, I mean these turtles are obviously hurt because they wouldn't be in here otherwise. But um, these turtles seem to be more healthy than those ones. They're just lazy laying about really and then here we have the squid yeah which I actually forgot to put in the um, original aquarium so uh, so um yeah here they are now <laughs> another major renovation and then here's another thing all these fish used to be in here as well and so now I have them in here. We got um, tropical fish, salmon, cod, and puffer fish. All of them are in here. Yeah, and uh, don't don't get stuck in there. Don't get stuck. Like, yeah, for some reason the salmon, the fish keep seeming to get stuck in the glass for some reason. Maybe I, maybe I added in too many fish. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Like, most of them are just kind of hanging out around the bottom and bumping into each other, now that I see it. But anyway, um, yeah, let's move on to another, um, renovation about this place. Because this place used to be one story. 
and now it's a two-story building so you can see the dolphins from the second floor now Let's see you can get a much better look at the dolphins from up here and then the turtles we could see from um the up uh, from up here in case they ever decide to go up on the land which um they never really do seemingly but yeah that's um just for that case and also here we got um there's a little water there's actually um this yeah this is actually kind of a waterfall that i made for them because they were kind of um they were kind of all yeah i because i thought it would like help improve their um enclosure like yeah but they do seem to be doing much better now so um that's a good thing yeah i can show yeah this now um i can show you other things as well because there is also um yeah there is also a third step to this but this is really this is really just an employee an employees only area i forgot yeah i actually i actually i meant to put up a sign for that i guess i forgot do i have a sign with me no i don't okay i guess i can i guess i can put that on later but this is kind of an employee only area where i'm about to go um yeah well well except um this is not really an employee o only area because they do um because this is kind of the thing like like if you sign up to swim with the dolphins you could do this as well like um here i'm gonna show you gonna s swim with the dolphins because um yeah i thought this would be a nice um interactive way to help everyone because the dolphins um i didn't used to allow this and the dolphins seem to be kind of like alone and swimming all slow and stuff you know what i mean like like they didn't really seem very um healthy but um so yeah i decided to do this because i thought it'd be nice for both the dolphins and the people you know nice interactive experience and also benefiting the animals as well but now where's the exit if i now now that i realize it there's no way out shoot well thankfully i'm in creative but um okay i'm gonna have to fix this um are there any stone slabs oh, hold on stone Are there stone slabs? Uh, uh, stone, uh, okay, stone slab. There we go. There we go. Problem hopefully fixed. Let's see. Yes, it's fixed. Whew. That was getting kind of worrying for a second. Get rid of that. There we go. Excuse me. And and then he, he, over here is kind of an employee only area. Like I'm I'm just gonna show you guys this because this is a tour, you know. Yeah, this is kind of like yeah. And then this is where yeah the this is the turtle enclosure. This is kind of where we like where the employees go to feed the turtles, you know, toss them their food, you know. And then down here, you go, um, this is where we give the squids their food. And then, and then right here is the start to the waterfall. It's not a water slide, though. It's, it's, not, it's not a water slide, though. It's, it's just a waterfall into the, into the fish enclosure. But you like it though it it starts over here and then turns into a nice waterfall over here but but anyway now um but anyway that's um that's it for the aquarium as well um yeah oh oh and also if you're wondering what's in here it's kind of some 
undersea stuff we got turtle shell yeah it's kind of like those like interactive areas uh yeah like those um uh like in like in series and aquariums when they show off like skulls and stuff like it's kind of like that's kind of what that's supposed to be oh and also this is the exit right here this double door and also here we have um the restaurant here we have a restaurant oh come on man come on man i've told you a million times to stay off that chest oh shoot pretend that never happened but anyway um hello man what would i like to eat uh i'm actually not hungry um well can you, can you please get off the chest please there we go i'm actually not hungry right now but um i'm actually giving a a tour hey say hi say hi Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Um, let's see. Um, we got um. A there we go. Thank you, buddy. Um, and then here we got um. Yeah, here kind of the prices. We got apples for five dollars, beetroots for seven dollars, carrots for nine dollars, melon for five dollars, cookies for ten dollars, cake for fifteen dollars, and sandwiches for thirteen dollars. Oh, that anvil's not supposed to be there. Pretend that never happened. Sorry. And yeah, here we kind of here we got some tables. Like we got a few indoor tables right here, but um, over in here is the excitement, really. Like, man, man, really? Did I really need to add in all these tables? Now that I think about it, my God, this this. I, I just designed this like a like an actual like go out and eat restaurant or something like that. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. And um yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um for the tour of the zoo. Um yeah, and um yeah, I hope you guys and yeah, I yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this area, whether to make it like, um, make it like a hostile mob section of the zoo or, um, whether, uh, whether make it like a forest, make it like a hostile mob section of the zoo or, um, yeah, or anything like that. Um, you guys let me know what you want me to do with it in the comments below and maybe I can do it. And, um. And also, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want me to do more like this, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button. Also, hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate a new subscriber. You guys are all amazing. And also, after hitting that subscribe button, go and hit the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Adios, amigos.